Hi, good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me on another Read Aloud. Today's book that I have brought is called Leap Trouble, and it's written by Jonathan Emmett. That means that he is the author, so he wrote the words and story, and it's illustrated by Caroline Jane Church. So she is the illustrator. She drew the pictures and made the pictures. Let me show you the title page. There's the title again, Leaf Trouble, and there's the author's name, and there's the illustrator's name. Let's begin the story. A fresh breeze blew across the woodland, tickling the tall grass and trembling the trees. Summer hadn't left, and autumn had arrived. Pip the squirrel stuck his head out of the nest and sniffed the air. Something's changed, he decided, and he scampered off to find out what it was. Pip's nest was in an old oak tree. Pip loved the old tree, and he knew every bit of it, from twig to trunk. But something was happening to the tree. It was happening so slowly that Pip hadn't noticed it until now. He skittered to a stop and stared at the leaves beside him. He was so surprised that he let go of the trunk. Wah! squealed Pip as he tumbled down through the branches and landed, oof, on the woodland floor. Pip lay there for a moment, staring up at the leaves. They've changed color, he gasped, and he was right. Last time Pip, the last time Pip had looked closely at the leaves, they had all been green. But now, they were lots of colors. Yellow, and orange, and even red. As Pip watched, one of the leaves dropped off and drifted down toward the ground. He jumped up and ran after it. He caught it in his paws, but even as he reached it, another leaf began to fall. Pip ran after the second leaf and just managed to catch it before it touched the wooden floor. Not again, gasped Pip as a third leaf began to fall. Pip was still racing around, trying to catch the falling leaves when his sister, Blossom, scurried up. Good, panted Pip. You're just in time. Just in time for what? asked Blossom. To help save the tree, puffed Pip. It's falling to pieces. But that's been happening for days, said Blossom, pointing to the leaf-covered ground. But then we've got to stop it now, insisted Pip. Pip and Blossom collected all the fallen leaves into a big pile. Now what? asked Blossom. We put them back, said Pip. So Blossom carried the leaves up into the tree where Pip tried to stick them back onto the branches. But it didn't work very well. Then all of a sudden there was a huge gust of wind and hundreds of leaves began to fall. Pip and Blossom were scrambling around frantically trying to gather them when Mom Squirrel arrived. What are you two up to? she asked. When Mom found out what Pip and Blossom had been doing, she couldn't help smiling. But Pip, she said, the tree has to lose its leaves. And she explained that taking care of the, of the leaves was hard work for the trees and that after keeping them all summer, it needed to rest for a while. But I love this tree, said Pip sadly. It's our home and I want it back the way it was. It will be, said Mom. When spring comes, the leaves will all come back again. They've only gone away for a while. Like when the sun sets and then comes back again, asked Pip. Like when the sun sets, agreed Mom. 
except the leaves will take just a little bit longer to come back. Pip, Blossom, and Mom played beneath the old oak tree until sunset. Before they left, they collected some leaves to take back to their nest. They're such beautiful colors, said Pip, smiling. And now I understand why. He had a paw full of leaves to show Blossom and Mom. They're the colors of the sunset, said Pip. And that's the end of the story, Big Trouble. Now, I know we're right now in between um, winter and spring, so go on a little nature walk. Take a look at the trees. Take a look at maybe there are some leaves on the floor that you could collect. Um, look at the colors. Talk about how they look. Maybe bring some inside with you. Have fun with the nature walk. Um, I think it's a good time to get some air, some fresh air. It doesn't have to be for a long walk. It could just be in your backyard or if you live in an apartment like me, maybe you're just around the apartment complex or maybe around your neighborhood. Just take a, take a moment to get some fresh air and look at the trees and nature and enjoy it. Bye.